Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to deploy MSI based applications. So the file extension uh, called MSI, uh, MSI based application. So that is nothing but line of business applications. So if you select the line of business, business applications uh, from uh, from the applications uh, like you can navigate to Microsoft Intune and go back to the client tabs apps and click on add that would actually gives you app uh, options to deploy on app type uh, in this app type I'm choosing as a line of business application in this line of business application you can choose any of the MSI file for this example I'm gonna take as uh, one of the putty application uh, I've just downloaded this putty MSI file now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I uh, test this put the command line options uh, with uh, normal whether it's going to work with MSI or not because the file extension is MSI but MSI have uh, some other options for example let me tell you you know how the MSI if you are quite new you can type MSI exec slash question mark this is going to open up a window called Windows installer uh, this is the parameters uh, how you're gonna choose for example MSI exec is the first command line uh, I mean this should be no uh, mandatory then you are gonna use some of the options for example these are the options which are used for the installation or for the uninstallation purpose and then you're gonna give the MSI file name uh, and then the optional parameters for example of optional stands for it could be log file or could be other uh, termination or other errors some of the things but uh, in our case what we're gonna do is actually uh, I'm gonna give this a simple command uh, the MSI file name with slash QB that should actually uh, install uh, automatically for me the installation should start for me so in this case it's actually installing if you can see here uh, automatically the installation is happening in fact it's just completed the installation that means the command line as well as the MSI is working fine I should be able to get it on my uh, properties or my start button in this case it's able to see here my uh, putty is installed just now under recent items that's good I uh, know I'm gonna use these command lines in my Intune and then um, I would use for my applications to be deployed as line of business application that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, uh, go back uh, here and choose my line of business app and then it's gonna ask me hey where is that MSI file so if you can see here it's asking for the application package file so in this case I'm just clicking on uh, uh, browse so that's gonna open so you just open the uh, source uh, where uh, wherever I have the MSI file I need to locate that path uh, of that file so in this case it's a MSI which we just tested and it got all that information and uh, it knows that uh, it's gonna execute permission base click OK and this is really interesting configuration you need to configure here if you can see here it says that app uh, information uh, which has detected automatically this information you need to once again fill up properly like uh, the description is uh, putty in this case uh, putty software you can give here and the I'm sorry I should give it uh, properly as putty and the uh, publisher is uh, definitely uh, whatever the company name it's going to be that company name should be given in this case I'm just giving as a putty for a uh, time uh, for the sake of uh, just entering the value uh, in your case if you are uh, trying to you know configure properly you need to you know, give the proper published name and uh, this is for the device context uh, as you can see here and ignore app versions like if you found this is going to be a low version it's going to ignore uh, but uh, it's going to install that specific application later point and uh, this is going to be a utility so I'm going to choose here under uh, a productivity maybe uh, in this case or uh, collaboration or something like that uh, the category of the application and if you are if you want this application to be uh, shown in the company portal on top uh, as a high priority you can take as yes otherwise you can ignore and uh, you can enter the uh, information for the uh, URL uh, for this uh, specific application in this case uh, this is the URL which I'm entering a uh, privacy statement if you have uh, any of the uh, privacy statement maybe you can give that a uh, specific um, URL uh, but in, in my case I don't have anything in the command line argument most of the time since it is automatically detected as MSI uh, you don't need to provide here uh, 
in in my most of the time you know in my testing it was worked and 50 50 in my case but you know uh, you don't need to give uh, as a first time and then test it if it works everything fine then you can um, configure as it is if not you can give as the command line in our case we just you know tested as qb so qb to be you know given here um, without the exe file name because the exe file name already taken up uh, but normally it would work for you without giving anything uh, but if you need any further like a log uh, kind of you know extra command line options to be you know, passed out then you might need to you know give here the command line otherwise you don't need to give and once you have configured everything like the developer and nodes other things click ok that's uh, almost configured the application now click on add it's gonna apply uh, or it's gonna show you in the uh, client apps but you need to actually uh, if, if you can you know look at here it's still you know uploading that MSI file once the size of the 2.81 MB once it's uploaded to Microsoft Intune portal uh, it would be ready actually and um, that's why it's still you know showing as a no but uh, now since it's uploaded I can you know refresh so it would take some time to uh, fetch that whether the source is uh, up to it, updated properly or uploaded uh, if you can see here it's at least you know uploaded and it is still waiting for the assignment so in our case we can apply um, to a group called all uh, putty uh, target users group uh, let's uh, create that uh, assignment click on add uh, this would actually gives the options whether this assignment is going to be required or it's going to be available so in our case if we choose is available users have to go to the a company portal and then they have to install in our case I'm just uh, configuring as required and include groups uh, this is where I'm gonna choose the group in my case I should be able to see here my putty group um, which is which we just created or which I already created in the uh, before I performing this demo so that group I can reuse here uh, for the sake of just to demonstrate here I can choose here all putty target users devices and then I do have here option this should be run for all users as well as uh, all uh, devices if I want I can uh, choose the specific settings click OK and then OK that would uh, save once I save uh, this deployment is ready in fact for this I should be able to see from Microsoft Intune client apps and uh, under apps I should be able to see this putty specific application which we just uh, created for example here you can see here MSI uh, based application line of business application it is assigned in fact so this is how you're gonna um, configure MSI uh, specific applications as a next step we are gonna align about between 32 specific application which has a, a lengthy of selection might be uh, let's see how best we can lend that thank you for watching this